Best dressed cast. <laughs> no See this coat? <laughs> this this coat came straight from Jesus. <laughs> straight from Jesus. To, to Live and Die and Live is a story about a guy named Muhammad who comes home with a buried stepfather um, and is given all these tasks to settle some accounts. He was a contractor in the city of Detroit. Um, but before he finishes the task, he may be finished by his own addiction to drugs, alcohol, and avoidance. I left Detroit years ago, went to New York, went to LA. Um, then I became a family man and you know, your priorities change a bit. And so it's like, okay, that might make sense. Let's bring them home around family. Started there. When I got there, everything changed because my mom pulled out this old movie I made like mad long ago. I was like, you need to watch this movie. I'm like, I don't wanna watch that movie, mom. So, I didn't know what I was doing. Was a... <laughs> Finally, I watched this movie and um, it did so much for me just as a reminder of like, you can, you can just go make a thing. Well, when I first received the script, I read through it and I was just like, I'm not this emotional. <laughs> I read scripts all the time. You know what? I'm gonna send it to the realest person I know. And that was my friend and manager, Melanie Green. And she called me up and was like, I cried. We, you need to make this movie. I was like, okay, it's official, like a referee with a whistle, I'm in. And he called me for this. He was just like, you know, it's a no brainer. You know, are you down for this? We're shooting a movie in Detroit. I live in New York. And then, you know, when I when I came and said yes and met Eamon and, you know, we connected on a brother sister sister level immediately. And um, yeah, it was just, I was like, yeah, let's take this journey. And you guys have oh, to realize right. like his sister is playing his sister. Right. <laughs> yeah. We cast his mom, but his mom is there. His <laughs> wife is in the film and she's producing. And gave birth to a baby. And she was pregnant. Art Im 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 imitates while real my, life. While my see. wife is pregnant. Back home in and LA. Like, <laughs> I would show up to set sometimes and be like, is this the real person? Or is this, you know, it was, it was surreal. Um, but yes was easy for Qasim because he speaks truthfully. And he said, amen, yeah. this is something that is perfect for you. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Hey, thank, thank you for, thank for you. that opportunity. You know, you're my brother and- uh, Me too, bro. Yeah, we Me made too. something special for the world to see. My whole ethos for, uh, around making film is rooted in this idea that like, there were, for about a hundred years, only certain people were making all the movies and they had the choice of how they wanted to portray certain people, black people, black men. Those images then spread all over the world for everyone to see and assess us with. You gotta realize how important this is, that when you have watched a thousand movies and the choice to display black men in most of those movies is violent or extreme or excess, that is, that leads to someone seeing us and when we hop out the car, they're afraid and they shoot, right? Let that, it's that serious because you, if you don't have friends like us and that's your only reference, what are you gonna do? Like, well, of course I've I'm scared of you. I've seen you a thousand times as violent. This was an emotional yeah. journey from beginning to end. Even right now, I'm getting emotional thinking about it. If you guys haven't seen this movie, I'm scared. every single one of us could be black, white, Asian. You're gonna relate to something in this movie and there are gonna be at least four or five things that you look at and you're gonna wanna cry. Oh. And the crazy thing, I'm sorry, but no. with this Please. film is I have a lot of people in my life that I speak to, like as a, being a black man in America, it's kind of like when you leave the home, it's a challenge, you know? Like, where do I get my gas today? Do I go to this gas station? You guys don't know that. Or do I go to that one? I'm trying to help my friend out here, but at the same time, it's like police pulls us over. We're like, am I going to make it home? That shouldn't be the conversation when you um, get pulled over. Will I make it home tonight? You know. You know? If you listen to these passionate people, this man called me up and had that type of pitch. And how can you not get on board with a filmmaker that has that much passion and that much love, that much soul? Thank you. And I hope everyone yeah. watches this film um, and can get the gravity of, of of the message that he's trying to, to relate to an audience.